adopted piano by his father. That boy was me, was named Ludwig van Beethoven. They said that I was so small and I had to stand on a stool to reach the keys of the piano. I was beaten by my father and stopped from sleeping, even when I was so tired that I could not keep my eyes open. At school, things were not much better. I had dyslexia. I did not like words. For me, music always came much more easily. Although my father was very cruel to me, I could not wait to get back to my piano and lose myself in my music. I got older and became a man. I wrote new music every day, hardly lifting my hands off the piano. But even as an adult, I was very shy. I did not make many friends, never got married or had children. One day, I discovered that I was going deaf. This made me deeply sad. How would I compose music if I could not hear? And what would I do if I could not compose music? Amazingly, even when I lost my hearing completely, I carried on writing music. In fact, I made some of my most beautiful music without being able to hear at all. The boy that cried on the piano and the man that he became was me, Ludwig van Beethoven. Beethoven. And I am considered by many people to be the greatest composer who ever lived. My music is classic and admired by all. I left my mark on people's lives with my music and the fact that being deaf did not stop me.